Okay. Cool. So hi, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Asia Pacific, Chaos Asia Pacific meeting, uh, January 13th, 2021. Yay. So um, welcome. Um, so today I, I put the minutes in the chat and we can talk about a, a variety of things. Um, I had one item that I wanted to talk about, which was translations. Um, but I don't, does anybody else have anything they want to talk about today? Well, I think that they, I, I read the, um, the Shanghai report. Uh, for some reason in my email, the photos didn't come through, but um, I would love to hear just a brief summary of that. Okay. Yeah, uh, about the uh, Shanghai meetup uh, in the, the last year, uh, December 27, uh, almost uh, I, I emailed to to the chaos minister. Uh, uh, there are almost uh, 40, 40 people uh, in person now to uh, participate in the, the meeting, uh, include many companies and uh, some students uh, come here uh, to join us to in the in the meetup. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, I, I, I gave some picture uh, in, the, in the list. So we have many pictures. So uh, Sha, uh, Clark, gather the meeting together. Uh, we will um, transfer the meeting to you. Uh, uh, OK, you can use the meeting on the website and uh, to promote the chaos. OK. Am I, am I the only one that didn't see the pictures or? Saw them. <clears throat> Excuse me, I saw them. Okay. All right. That must be my email. Must be sh sh stripping that out. So, <laughs> um, and just so folks know too, here I'll show this real quickly. We did just a small website design. So under community right now, we had the Shanghai meetup. So we may do meet other meetups in the future, but right now under community and meetups is the Shanghai meetup. So that's where you can get to that. So just if people care. So, awesome. so we can put to the picture in, in that website. Yeah, I would coordinate with Kevin. Kevin Lombard. Oh. Okay. Yep. And I can provide you can reach out to me and I can make that connection. So Okay. So William, we uh, will William want to hold the uh, want to hold the next Beijing meetup and uh, I can hold the Shenzhen meetup in twenty twenty one. So if the pandemic uh, go, uh, pandemic are gone, uh, I think we can hold the KiosCon next uh, this year, not next year, this year in China. Yeah, you can fly it, to China. Will it be later this year, like toward the end of the year? When would that be, King? Like what do you have a so, Sean's question was? Yeah, I think my quite my quite, towards the end of the year, I think uh, in the United States, the the likelihood of us being allowed to travel will be greater. Um, there's also a uh, compliance summit in Japan in December, usually that that would give us um, sort of another reason to travel to Asia since it's so costly yeah. and then just right. tack the <clears throat> tack the chaos con in China onto that. Um, it's a good idea. And yeah, maybe at the end of this year is a yeah. good day. Just also look, aren't there some Linux Foundation events in, in China? Like there's usually yeah. a KubeCon or maybe an open source summit or something if we could. Although I don't know if they're doing one in 2021. It might be 2022. But we should, yeah. we should see if we can tie into that because although Although Japan gives people an excuse to travel um, to Asia, the two aren't super close together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like my colleagues in Australia and New Zealand. I'm like, just go to New Zealand. And they're like, well, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's okay. the ocean is big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Well, yeah, yeah, uh, AI, okay, if there are Linux Foundation events in China, and and I would I would think that by the end of the year, the the Linux the Linux Foundation is more agile than academic an academic community where we've basically canceled everything. So, hopefully, they'll have start having events towards the end of this year. Yeah, they've already said that they're doing a KubeCon. Um, the KubeCon North America will be in Los Angeles towards the end of the year. And they've also said that they're doing an open source summit in Vancouver, Canada towards the end of the year. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. So so there's hope at the end of the year. Also, they've said- um, a lot of, a lot so of things. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> right. I think a lot of it depends on US vaccination schedules, which I don't have a ton of confidence in. I, I think what? they'll be, uh, I think they'll be better in in like seven days or however long. I think it's seven days. Seven days. <laughs> a week. A week from today. A week from today. I think they're going to be a lot better than they've been. Yeah. All right. Well, that's cool. Thanks for sharing, King. Appreciate it. Were there outcomes from the Shanghai meeting that you'd like to bring up in terms of priorities for the for this working group? Like things that you learned or things that we haven't discussed that we might want to add to our agenda? I forced King to look at a document where he has these things listed carefully. I I I guess so. Uh, I I would tell tell uh, there's a bunch of people uh, go to that meeting, and I meet a guy from DD, and uh, I went to uh, the DD uh, last week uh, to uh, attend their uh, open source uh, summit, and uh, the, the the guy uh, his project gets the first prize in DD, and uh, in his uh, presentation he he talked about the kiosk. I think we we did a good job to let the people to know about the chaos and with uh, and and let the people to know it, it's related to the uh, community uh, house uh, open source community house. Excellent, that's awesome to hear. Great, thank you. Uh, I'm not sure, King. <laughs> Uh, has something to say? Coco, you, 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 and uh, yes, I, I learned a lot from you, and uh, I'm, I'm a great thank you uh, for teaching me and uh, Xiaoya uh, about the meeting, how to organize the meetup. This is my first uh, meetup, and uh, this is also also the Xiaoya <laughs> first <laughs> meetup. <laughs> we both hold it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very, very, um, it's very, uh, very. Uh, I think it's a very good memory for both of us. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, it's uh, I, I can have uh, we have this experience. So I think we can we will hold the next meetup, next call, uh, uh much better than, than than this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and uh, 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 one point the uh, uh, most of people uh, in China they. Uh, don't know about the chaos. This, they are forced to come here, come with us. Uh, we talk. We I talk about the chaos, and uh, uh, the first thing uh, they ask is, "What is what's the chaos?" Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. What's the I mean, chaos? So, <laughs> with the extra s, it means something different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very different uh, in Chinese. It's uh, the meaning of chaos is different. Except, except s, letter s is very different with the chaos. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So they ask, what, what's your chaos? So, I, uh, I try, let me explain to them. Mm -hmm. You think the chaos is very, very useful in China? Uh, you know, the Chinese, uh, Chinese people 
uh, Chinese developer uh, grow very fast and the Chinese project uh, grow faster and faster. Uh, they uh, don't have, uh, they want, they eager want to know uh, how to, how to matrix the health of the community. Uh, I think the chaos will, uh, will be will be very very useful for them. So uh, at uh, like the medium share to to you the DD, DD people DD DD Jin Tai the the guy named Jin Tai join join the meeting and uh, he connect uh, with me and uh, uh, William and uh, he invite William to uh, to attend the meeting. Uh, of the DD open source uh, annual year uh, summit, and uh, yeah, uh, we then share uh, share the the how to uh, how to play how to develop in the community, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, DD is one example in Chinese company. So I think uh, chaos will be spread uh, uh, faster, very faster in in China. Uh, yeah. Okay. Can you put a can, <clears throat> two things? One, can you put a link to that company, Didi? Yeah, is that right? Didi is think... a, Didi is a Chinese Uber, you know. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, on, okay. Online called the taxi, and yeah, yeah. So I can share you the. Don page. did it. Don yeah. put it in there. And then. The second is listening to you talk, King. Um, you talk about like fast growing communities in China. And I thought about um, CNCF puts out this velocity chart. So it's the, does anybody know what I'm talking about? So they look at the, it's some scale of commits on the horizontal and then on the right or on the, on the vertical, it has something to do with issues and PRs, and they talk about the velocity of projects. And it's actually a chaos metric too. Um, when they just show, the intention is to show the fastest growing projects. And on the thing that Chris provides, it's, um, I'm sure it's zero Chinese communities because we don't have the ability to see that work as clearly would be my guess. I, I don't know. And so I'm wondering if if we're going to be I, helping communities and helping companies. I, uh, like, how do we make sure we see that data? Matt, uh, uh, I I guess uh, since that, uh, are quite popular in, in, in China because of the uh, collaborative uh, tech, technology, and uh, and since has a lot of uh, members. Uh, 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 the Chinese company members, I think they did a very good job uh, in the market, uh, in the marketing side. Uh, 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 may maybe you can share the link with me. And I'm quite surprised <laughs> to, to to hear uh, if uh, if they are lack of uh, advocacy, uh, advocacy or, or, or uh, get touch with the community uh, inside of China. Here, I'm finding the, the link. This is kind of old. I, I know they just posted a newer one. Oh, oh by the way, I, I can see a lot of uh, uh, open source projects uh, that come from China, but we are lack of the uh, community manager. We are lack of the people connect to the project together or the people uh, to hold the meet up or, or something. I, I, I talk up, I, I, I talk uh, with a lot of uh, uh, Apache project uh, I'm mentoring. And uh, besides the project, uh, there's uh, some commercial company. They uh, complain they cannot find the right people with the uh, scale of the uh, community building or uh, has the experience with the open source uh, community the uh, setup. So, so I, I guess the uh, chaos may be a good uh, place for the people to know better about how to uh, build the community or how to uh, bring more people because the metrics can tell us 
uh, which direction we can work on. So in this way, we, we, we could bring a special value of chaos uh, to, to, to China. And on uh, uh, that side, is uh, more and more uh, 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 people are using open source, but they want to use it uh, rightly, maybe as some uh, uh, governance, uh, or, or, or they can tell uh, the uh, technical uh, debate, uh, uh, technical uh, debate, or, or they can uh, know um, the exactly the, the cost they will, uh, uh, the cost of the uh, open, uh, using open source. So, so I, I think this will bring the, the, the value of the metrics uh, such as um, uh, Rask uh, working group um, to, to let the people to know they need to pay attention to a certain kind of uh, things when they use an open source. So in this way, I, I, I guess um, girls will bring uh, some useful experience for them to, uh, uh, for, for the people to use, uh, to use the uh, open source uh, in a better way. That's fair. And, um, and I'll say a couple of things. One, we're super happy to help in any way <laughs> that can help help in, in that translation. So um, if there's ways that you see that we can help connect to get that message, just don't hesitate to let us know, certainly. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and I can share my uh, uh, experience of using the translate IO. It's quite easy to uh, use. Uh, because with the help of uh, uh, Google Translate, I barely uh, type anything because I uh, most uh, uh, results is okay. I just need to uh, uh, change some uh, words, uh, few words, and make sure they are in the right place. So, so, so it's quite useful. And if there are any change uh, on the website, uh, the 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 translation IO will tell me uh, there's a, a little bit translate, I, a, a little bit uh, change, and uh, I can go, go through with it. Uh, and I think this is quite useful. So if chaos, uh, I, I highly recommend the chaos, uh, chaos uh, website can use that kind of uh, feature. So in this way, we can provide um, multiple uh, language uh, in a very easy way. So on, on that note, in, in translations, right? So we've done a bunch of translations into Chinese mm -hmm. for the metrics, and they're going to be part of the next release. Oh, great. Yep, so those will be provided. One of the things, and we it was a service that we paid to have done just so we can do a large scale translation of the metrics. Mm -hmm. uh, and that'll be, Elizabeth, is that? Is it in March is the next release? Yep. Yeah. And so one of the things that we need to think about is as metrics have small changes to them, because sometimes a metrics will have a metric will have a small change in between releases, you know, like a a sentence is added or something is changed very, very, very small. Um, how do we um, capture community support to, to make sure that that small change in English is, um, is also done in, in Chinese and, <clears throat> excuse me, also done in Spanish. That's our other language that we've translated to. Hello. I guess we, <laughs> <laughs> I guess we, we may uh, check the uh, translate IO uh, if it can bring the uh, data change. So uh, it could be very yeah, yeah. useful because if we uh, go back, it's, it's, it's time consuming work and we barely can find the right place to do things. So, so, so if I, in that case, so if we have a, if we have a metric, um, if we have a metric that needs to be retranslated or a sentence needs to be translated, 
you're suggesting that we just use translate.io to, to try to capture that change? Yeah, I I guess, uh, I, but I I didn't spend a lot of time on it. If they uh, provide the a, API with the Git, uh, uh, Git GitHub, uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, so if we put the document into the uh, source uh, source management system, it, it's quite easy for us to tell uh, which part is changed. So in this way, uh, I. Maybe we need to do some uh, research work to make sure it, it, uh, with the help of the translate uh, IO, uh, we can do that things. Um, so then what do you what do you think the easiest way for us would be to provide the changed documents to you? So you um, know, how could we get those to you to help in any translation, like even if it's just a sentence, just to affirm mm -hmm. that yeah. that was a first, proper translation. First, the way you just need to know which part is uh, is changed. So in this way, we just need to revisit the change part. And uh, I guess most uh, service, the translation service, they, they take uh, these things into consideration. So so we just need to uh, verify if this is a feature they uh, provide. Mm. Um, so if we so, were going to get, so if we were going to show you a document that has changed, is it easiest for us to post that in GitHub? And you know, like we have a translation repository that says here, here are all of the translations that exist, and we could say use issues that mark, you know, here's one of the documents that has changed since the last release, and here's where it's changed. Um, is it some other system? Because I. I'd rather do it in the open to, to the best of our ability as opposed to mm -hmm. sending say documents via email. Is I'll, it some okay. other other tool? Uh, I, I guess if we have the issues to um, tell us uh, the exactly the place uh, changed, I think this will uh, save us a lot of time to, to do the uh, translation work or to okay. revisit the, the, the translation uh, things. And so so uh, if we can use a certain kinds of uh, service, that, that, that could be very helpful. So we, we can. So we can do a large part of the translation using mm -hmm. some service. Um, and so if we put, if we put requests for help on translation in GitHub, is that okay? Uh, I think it should be fine. Uh, so, so technology. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And we can try it this way. And if we can find another service to, to, to do the work, uh, to, to help us to identify the, the change part that that could be, uh, very helpful. Uh, save us uh, uh, tons of time. Okay. What do people on the call think about making a translation repository in the chaos org? I think if it or makes we... it easier to do the translation, it's a no brainer. Okay. This would be as opposed to doing the translation work in the respective working groups. Mm -hmm. That's the other option, right? Is to like common with Don, if there's a translation change, we would track that in the common working group and same with DNI and same with, that seems a little spread thin for me. And if we capture everything. I think it's better if we have a translations repository because that work okay. is, um, I don't know, it, 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 it takes some special, special skills to understand what we need to translate and what we don't and how it works. And I think if we try to distribute that to working groups, we'll end up with um, varied results. It's, yeah, it's highly, I agree. It's highly specialized work and putting it in one repository makes it easier for whoever does that highly specialized work to get it done. Okay. Um, I'll put that as an action item for myself to like build that repository and I'll try to work with Kevin a little bit because Kevin's also part of that workflow to not only make the translations available, but to make sure that they're part of the next release. Um, and I can show that in a couple of weeks and just get feedback on what people think of 
of that workflow, if that works. Hey, Matt, I have a quick question. So the metrics that will be new in this coming release that we like that we've already either that we've already had as part of the continuous or that will come out during that 30 day review period or right before. Are those also going to be translated like in that 30 days? Because I know we the did the translations before, but that we have new metrics now. So, yeah, the hope is yes. So I okay. would. So like in the case of so we did the we had, say, 50 metrics that we translated on November 15th, whatever it was. And then in between November 15th and now, some of the working groups have released new metrics that were not part of. So for example, common, it has a new metric that's under review that it was not translated back in November. And so, um, so the thought was, is that I would, can, anytime there's a new metric that's developed, like the entirety of a metric, that I would have them translated in full with using this company, just because that's a big, it's kind of a, a big ask. <laughs> Hello, so then, dog. Hey, we have exactly. kids, we have dogs. Uh, I try. <laughs> Um, and then the only thing that we would ask for community help with on translations is if there are changes, minor changes in between versioning for the metric. So like a sentence is added or a new filter is added or something along those lines. And we would then use the translation repository to just mark what those minor changes are through issues. and. And that would be it. Matt, I'll put this on the um, community call agenda for next time. And I'll also try to help remember to bring that up at working groups as we as soon as it's kind of in place, we can bring it up at all the working groups. So they just okay. know to keep that as a, a, a top of mind, you know, like when mm -hmm. we're developing this metrics, we have to remember, or maybe we put like a checklist or something. <laughs> Where on the spreadsheet or you know some kind of reminder that hey we've changed this we have to let translation know yeah i think so too We're, we are going to have to track if like one sentence is added and then the other the other thing is is that it might be easier for me just logistically if we did a release. And so like in the case of again, like common that has a new metric and other working groups have new metrics too, that I, I have to figure out how to like kind of package all of the new metrics to get them translated in bulk. So I'm not sure if that would happen in the 30 day review period because I'd hate for me to send off like the new metric from common for translation and then somebody comes back and says hey actually can you change this little thing i'd be like oh it was a waste of time so i may actually wait until after the release is done and then the translation would just show up in the following release okay cool um so like i said i'll, I'll do that i'll set that up prior to the next meeting um and then I had one other thing too. So I, my, my earlier issue with, with making sure that we see the projects, are people familiar with this? This is that velocity metric that Chris Anacek puts together. And so what this is, is commits and then here's PRs and issues over here. And I'm guessing all of these projects are based in the US or Europe. But doing something for projects based in Asia would, would be helpful. Yeah, my thought, and how do we make sure we see that? Because there always seems to be some limitation technology wise to be able to see those projects the same that we can see projects say on GitHub or GitLab. Is, is Gitty um, Giti, I assume that the significant open source projects 
uh, would be on Giddy. Is that right, King? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And, and Giddy does have uh, pull requests and issues. Is that right? Yeah. So we would, we would, um, what would be ideal is if we could enlist the support of uh, developers to help us write like either a, a worker for Augur <clears throat> or a way of pulling the data with um, Percival and, and then from Giddy. So it would be a little bit of work just to access those different APIs. Uh, the commits are easy because we can just pull with the repo. It's the pull requests and issues that require API calls typically. And so we would just have to write um, write those workers um, and, and getting some folks involved in, in building, at least from an auger, I can only speak for auger, but getting somebody involved in writing those auger things those auger workers might might be helpful. Um, auger is changing to a slightly different model where we'll have twice monthly hackathons for about four hours. Um, that might be a good place to do the auger work if we want to do it that way. I think Percival is also, Percival has a much broader and richer set of data that it gathers from. Um, and so it might this might be a case where, where Percival could provide a more general solution that Augur could attach to. Um, it may not be, but I'm, I'm thinking positive and tool set collaboration. Uh, uh, I, I guess the API part is, uh, uh, I, uh, I, I, I wrote uh, uh, a, uh, a plugin uh, for the uh, Grammar Lab. So, so uh, for, for for Gitty, and um, and I think it's quite uh, similar with the uh, GitLab. So, uh, so it's not a big deal. And uh, now I'm 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 thinking maybe we can uh, host uh, 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 a project. Uh, uh, now I'm uh, tomorrow I I will talk to to the guy um, who uh, host. Uh, 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 it's like a Google Summer Code in China. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's certain kind of people who 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 are interested about uh, how this kind of things. So maybe we can work as a bridge to to uh, let the people uh, let the students to do this kind of job uh, in in the summer um, to 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 help us to bridge the uh, Giti uh, because he. May have a very uh, easy ways to access the uh, platform in China, uh, and, and with uh, uh, with the uh, help of the uh, Xiang or, 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 or just like uh, uh, mm -hmm. we can we can talk to the student to help mm -hmm. them to get know the project and to help them to write to the worker. Yeah. Uh, when, when does that? When does that? Uh, when does the sign up, sir? When does that launch? Uh, I will talk to them, and okay. uh, I I will give the information in, in the next meeting. So so Great. I I, I think I think this is uh, could be a very interesting project because uh, uh, last uh, summer uh, there was only a Chinese uh, project, and uh, the mentor most uh, 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 still in that mentor are most Chinese, but uh, uh, we are not limited in in these areas, and I think we can bring more <laughs> diversity <laughs> into this project and uh, just uh, bridge uh, the Chinese students uh, with the uh, open source world and uh, help them to participate uh, this kind of uh, uh, project. Yeah. That, okay. That, that that sounds exciting. I mean, uh, I'm keen to get involved in that. Uh, great. Uh, I will keep you, uh, you guys uh, posted, and maybe I, I I can introduce the chaos project to to them and uh, to help. I, I, and I think uh, uh, the chaos uh, project uh, did a very good job uh, to bring uh, uh, to uh, be, uh, mentor the uh, Google Summer of Code student. So so I think uh, maybe we can do the same thing. Uh, yeah. It's called uh, uh, Summer Twenty Twenty One. Yeah, it's coming up.
I think uh, we get the bridge uh, between the GrammarNub and the, the GitHub. Uh, the Git is very important thing in China because um, when I set up the uh, GrammarNubs uh, in Docker, um, I got some issues between the GitLab in China and the, the GrammarNub. Uh, it means that it always uh, wait for connecting the GitHub connection. So. Uh, I think the uh, most of the most of developer in China um, develop their software in the uh, Gitchi, so that's very important. And also, I think uh, we can collect some uh, social media uh, data from uh, Weibo. They come and like the uh, Twitter in, in overseas and and uh, WeChat uh, some some extra nigga, uh, extra data. Uh, that's uh, very important for Chinese developers. I think um, we, we can do something like that. That sounds uh, good. Uh, uh, about this question, I, today I talked about with Clement Lee and William John. We talked about, uh, about this question. So, you know, Clement, Clement just uh, built the uh, Grim Lab uh, from Docker. So, when we wanted to create in the want to see the Git case community uh, health uh, community health uh, project community health, so we must check the API from the Git case. So uh, from uh, from now uh, uh, now the Git case API mm -hmm. is uh, uh, right by Chinese. Okay, so yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Uh, I think Shan, you you have you have. Say that before. <laughs> it's, uh, no, yeah, I've, I've, yeah, yeah, I've said it before. It's it's getting, you know, and that's the reason I am growing up and asking for help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I think uh, the I think we we have the suggestion uh, is uh, we can work out we can fix this uh, problem. We can ask the student uh, who interested in this this work this job uh, and uh, we can fix it. So we can link the, the Grim Lab uh, and the Gitty and the Argo and the Gitty. Yeah, uh, I think uh, so. So next meeting we can update the process. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That'd be great. Is is yeah. Gitty used internally, like the way GitHub is too? Yeah. Probably. Are there internal like organizational? Uh, I. I don't think they provide the uh, enterprise uh, version. They just uh, ho uh, host as a service. Okay. Uh, public service. Yeah. So last, uh, 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 after the Shanghai meetup, I talked with Xiaoya and Clement. We will, they will talk together about the this, this meeting, uh, Asia Pacific Health meeting. Uh, so we have some, some direction we can talk about. But uh, one direction is uh, we can uh, do the transit job. We can, uh, after uh, Matt, uh, you uh, translate, uh, we can review the translation and uh, uh, verify it. Uh, this is one direction. And uh, the other uh, goal, the other direction is we can uh, establish uh, the local, the Chinese local matrix uh, standard system. Uh, yeah. Uh, just like uh, Clement said, uh, we we uh, we have different uh, the social media uh, from the uh, US. Um, you 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 have the Twitter, Facebook. We we use the WeChat and uh, the Xinlang, uh, Xinlang uh, blog. Uh, yeah, and uh, we have different uh, uh, data the data system. So I think the uh, we can. Uh, uh, translate the not not only translate we can establish the uh, local uh, matrix system uh, to suit the Chinese to ma match map Chinese uh, Chinese situation. I think this is uh, another um, direction. The third direction is uh, we can uh, we can. Uh, follow the uh, Chinese metrics system, and uh, we can provide the uh, uh, tools. Uh, we can, like, like the uh, Shane said, we can uh, supply the API 
and uh, to connect the, the Grim Lab and the Gitty. And uh, yeah, uh, we can, so we can me me measure metrics, uh, we can see the dashboard from the Grim Lab. And uh, uh, the Chinese user uh, will be more convenient to use the Grim Lab to metric their uh, project on Gitty. Yeah. So over. <laughs> Yeah, I I support using Grimoire Lab. One of the things that I, I'm okay with all of those. I think they're really good ideas. Spend time on translations. Um, spend time. The last one, thinking about how to provide technologies that can connect with Augur and Grimoire Lab to have access to Giddy. One of the things you said in the middle there, King, which I think is super interesting, is thinking about um, the metrics that are the current metrics and new metrics that might be relevant in the Chinese context uh, and how how those would actually be deployed from a from a work perspective. I think that's super interesting to me because um, I'd love to to see um, how cultural differences play a role in how we think about metrics and how we think about what the metrics can mean in in different uh, in different settings. That's, that would be absolutely fascinating to me. Uh, yeah, from the cult cultural uh, perspective, I have very interesting talk uh, with the, uh, uh, Daniel and uh, he introduced the, uh, the uh, uh, culture map book to me. And uh, yeah, it, it's a very uh, uh, good uh, reading experience. And uh, we can see uh, a different uh, country, uh, they have the different culture. So. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if we uh, already have think uh, uh, thinking about uh, bringing some metrics about that, or um, uh, it, it's a common uh, situation if we uh, work as an uh, uh, in international uh, company, uh, everyone uh, need to deal with it. Uh, uh, from, from, from my uh, experiences, look, I, um, I, now I'm quite interested about the inner source to uh, uh, facilitate the collaboration uh, environment. Uh, it, it's like uh, open source culture is more like uh, start from the uh, uh, US or uh, the Europe. And, and uh, for, for the Asia part, we have a hierarchy system and uh, um, and uh, people are working. Um, uh, they, they, they are. Uh, um, they, uh, they are get used to uh, work uh, by assign the task. Uh, but in open source world, um, everyone just uh, do what they want to do. So they choose the work themselves. So it's uh, quite different uh, from the cultural side. Uh, so maybe we. Uh, if we have uh, certain kinds of uh, metrics or, or, or some things to uh, help people to know about better about that, that could be very helpful to to let them know the gap, know the difference, so they can do some adjustment or do uh, or adapting uh, different uh, scenarios. Uh, it will be yeah. more happy for us to work together or to. Uh, switch from one context to another context. I would love to talk through that. That would, yeah, I think that'd be I, fascinating. I do too. Great. <laughs> I, I, I will talk to Tanya about that. It's, it's a really uh, uh, very interesting topic. <laughs> So, so I, I agree. And so King, everything that you propose to talk about, I, I think fits with yeah. the roadmap for 2021. So yeah, it's, uh, that's great. I love it. Um, all right. Well, we're approaching the end of time here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think maybe uh, Willem and King, I think you're going to bring back some stuff in a couple of weeks with respect to how we can talk about um, technology connections with Giddy, like what that might look like and how we might think through that a little bit. Um, and my hope there is to, in doing that, that we can, that the technology can provide better transparency on the way that 
that open source work is done, particularly in China. So I think that's important. If we're gonna talk about metrics, we have to think about how we implement them as well. And we need technologies to do that. Um, and then I'll come back with a proposal just workflow wise for assisting with the translation of the metrics themselves. And you all can take a look at that and see if that would work um, for, from your perspective, just in terms of assisting with any translation work that we might have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it sounds great. Sounds great, Nari. Yeah, sounds amazing. I'm excited. And you know, I just I'll say thank you so much for you know pu pushing to have this Asia Pacific call. It, it's been really enlightening to me, so I, I've really enjoyed it. So yeah, I, very much the same. I'm I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. I I I, I got a very good experience to uh, talk with. Uh, you and uh, yeah, learn a lot, and especially uh, 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 I have very good experience in the uh, in, inner source uh, comments. They have a, a donors app and uh, to bring the random people together and have a chat. I I, I can see there's a, a very good chemistry happen there, and I really enjoy <laughs> that experience. <laughs> So that's how you saw what I sh want to share with you guys. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, thank yeah. you all to help me and show you how to organize the meetup. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Thank you very much. We re really appreciate it. All right, folks. Until okay. till some other time. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye